These days, communication signals such as Wi-Fi are everywhere. Can they do more than communication? For instance, can they count the number of people in an area through walls without relying on people to carry a device? As an example, consider this classroom with a number of students inside. A Wi-Fi transmitter and receiver are outside of the classroom, behind the walls. Can this Wi-Fi link count the number of people in this area? In this paper, we show that this is indeed possible and show the first demonstration of crowd counting through walls with Wi-Fi without relying on people to carry a device. Let's first see some experimental results. Consider this room enclosed by concrete walls with a Wi-Fi transmitter and receiver outside of the room. The table shows sample number of people and our estimate. As can be seen, our proposed approach can estimate the number of people with a very good accuracy. Consider another room. Our proposed approach can estimate the number of people with a very good accuracy in this area as well. It is noteworthy that our approach does not need prior calibration in the area of interest. This third room is enclosed by wooden walls. We can estimate the number of people with a very good accuracy in this area as well. Finally, 20 people are present in this room. Our approach estimated the number of people as 19 in this case. Overall, we ran 44 experiments in different locations and achieved an estimation error of two people or less 100% of the time. Let's now see how we have enabled this. Let's look at the received signal strength as people walk in the area. By zooming in, we can see that people's motions can cause significant drops in the signal strength. We then form the discrete event sequence that corresponds to the instance of significant signal drops, as well as the corresponding inter-event times. We observe that while the amplitude of the signal can be severely attenuated through walls, the inter-event times are more robust to wall attenuations. Thus, we propose to exploit them for crowd counting through walls. More specifically, we propose to model the discrete event sequence corresponding to the movements of one person as a renewal time process. We can then see that the discrete event sequence corresponding to the movements of n people is a superposition of n renewal time processes. After some mathematical derivations, we can prove the following theorem which characterizes the probability mass function of the inter-event times and relates it to the total number of people in the area. Our proposed approach is the first to mathematically characterize the statistics of the occupancy inter-event times and relate them to the total number of people in the area. As such, it has enabled the first demonstration of true wall crowd counting See the paper for more details and results.